How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Now today we've got something a little bit special for you. It's some bonus content for the week. It's a massive compilation of some of the scariest video clips going around. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Trail cameras are a popular CCTV technology frequently used by hunters, hoping to spot potential targets in forests near their homes. When a friend of Reddit user C. Grazia checked his trail cam, something much more disturbing than a rogue deer appeared. The images are black and white, but the first shot shows the forest clearly. The trees in the area are in sharp focus. However, there's something else in the shot that is more difficult to discern. What appears to be the figure of a person walking through the woods. Whatever it is, is blurry as if caught in motion. Its back appears to be to the camera, so no facial features can be distinguished. All that we can tell is that it appears to be a man walking with his hands in his pockets. At first, users assumed that the camera had simply caught the image of an ordinary person walking through the woods. However, C. Grazia pointed out that the camera takes pictures in bursts, capturing numerous images over the course of a few seconds. This figure only appears in one of the photos. In addition, another photo was captured in the same burst that is much more terrifying. A close-up shot of what seems to be the head and shoulders of a brightly glowing figure staring directly into the camera. Combined, these two terrifying photos paint a much more disturbing picture. Could there be some sort of ghostly entity walking the trails near this camera? Redditors are hoping that additional photos will shed some light on the issue, but for now, the figure remains a mystery. Reddit user JustSin1 posted this eerie picture in mid-2020. They said their mum's goddaughter had been feeling weird in their apartment lately. According to the goddaughter, she had suspected that she's not really ever home alone since she moved into her new place. She often feels a strange presence in the apartment, especially when she's home alone. Sometimes she sees figures in the corner of her eye, but is never able to get a good look. An innocent selfie ended up giving her the clearest indication of what may be haunting her. In the background of her photo, peeking around a doorway, appears a shadow, a humanoid shape, but it's entirely black. It appears to have long hair or be wearing some sort of veil over its head. The Redditors who saw the photo were shocked by the image. They believe that the picture clearly confirms the existence of shadow people. According to one commenter, the girl in the photo should be careful. Shadow people tend to drain positive emotions from those they visit unless they're properly banished. Not much is known about shadow people. It's said that they lurk in dark corners, terrifying those unlucky enough to encounter them. If a shadow person has latched itself onto this young woman, she should indeed be wary. Some terrifying photos come with a tragic backstory, such as this image shared by Redditor MJMJ101. What was meant to be a loving tribute to a beloved pet turned sinister when something odd was spotted in the background. The picture shows a dog curled up in a comfy dog bed. Unfortunately, the pup's time was limited. Shortly after the photo was taken, the dog passed away from parvovirus. This fact makes the oddity spotted in the photo even more terrifying. Just behind the pup, we see a set of strange feet that appear to be walking through the room. The person who took the photo says they were alone with the dog when the photo was taken, but the image suggests otherwise. Viewers have noted that the legs don't seem to belong to an ordinary person. The feet are fairly large, but the legs are extremely thin. However, the position of the feet suggests that they don't belong to a small, frail person. They're extremely far apart, indicating that the legs belong to an exceptionally tall person. The skin is also very pale, adding to the sickly look of the spindly legs. No one is sure who or what these strange feet belong to. 
Some viewers have suggested that the ghostly figure was hanging around preparing to escort the pup to the afterlife. Could these legs belong to some sort of canine grim reaper? The last place where you want to spot terrifying photos is on your baby monitor. Unfortunately for Redditor, Slaggedly, this is exactly what happened when they reviewed footage from when their infant was asleep in their crib. The image is disturbing. It shows crystal clear a figure leaning over the crib, looking closely at the sleeping child. Because of the position of the camera, only the figure's legs and lower torso can be seen. Both parents were said to be in the yard at the time the photo was taken on the motion sensing camera, and no one else lives in the house. Viewers have suggested three possibilities, and all options are equally terrifying. The figure could be some sort of ghost peering in at the child, or an intruder has snuck in, or worse still, a mysterious person could be living secretly in the house. Whether the figure is a ghost or a human, one thing's clear. These parents had better keep a very close eye on their child when they're asleep in this nursery. When Redditor Connor Parry 2003 was a kid, Halloween was an exciting holiday. However, on one particular year, things got a little scarier than they had hoped for. The youngster posed for a picture in their costume before heading out to trick or treat. When the pictures were developed, it became clear that the child's costume wasn't the scariest thing in the image. Just over the child's shoulder, there appears to be a sinister face peering out of the shadows. The face appears to be a brownish green colour with a mass of dark hair. Some viewers of the photo are sceptical, believing that this could be a case of pareidolia, the human tendency to spot faces where none exist, because the brain is naturally wired to search for recognisable patterns. However, others are certain that a ghostly entity was lurking in the shadows on that Halloween. Is this simply part of the couch behind the boy, or is there something ghostly going on? Take a close look at the photo and judge for yourself. Redditor Native Meraki installed outdoor cameras for security, never expecting to end up with terrifying photos. However, it seems that a spirit may have had other plans. The image was taken by a camera in the driveway late one night. A few yards away from the camera, a woman appears to be walking through the tall grass. She's translucent white from head to toe. She appears to be wearing a long dress and has her arms wrapped around her torso. The Redditor wanted to believe that she had caught herself on the camera. However, she never goes out into the driveway at night without a flashlight and doesn't own a dress like the one in the picture. According to this Redditor, the former owner of the home passed away and had her ashes spread on the property. The area was also once home to Native American tribes, some of whom are likely buried nearby. Could this figure be the ghost of a former owner, or that of a Native American woman who once called the area home? For now, the identity of the figure remains a complete mystery. When Redditor Staggernaut lost their father as a child, they were devastated to know that they would never see him again. However, a photo taken at a family event seems to suggest that he might be closer than anyone thought. In the photo, we see the Redditor posing in front of a delicious feast with their mother and two siblings. The family is smiling, but it's clear from their expressions that they were missing one crucial member of the family that day. On the left-hand side of the happy family photo, something seems amiss. A streak of bright light appears in the photo right next to the Redditor's mother. While some may believe that the mark is just a flaw in the film, others are sceptical. The Redditor is convinced that the photo proves their father was with them the day the photo was taken. This event happened in the same year their father passed away, so it isn't unreasonable to believe that his spirit could still be lingering around. Is this a photo of a lost family member, or merely some damaged film? Take a closer look at the photo and decide for yourself. Then let us know what you think in the comments section below.
When this employee was alone in the office late one evening, he probably wasn't expecting a fright. However, it seems that something paranormal may have had other plans for this unsuspecting man. At the start of the video, we see the employee sitting alone at his desk in the darkened room. He begins blowing into his hands, almost as if the room started to drop in temperature. Suddenly, he turns around as some machines in the background begin making noise. Curious, the worker gets up to investigate, but nothing seems amiss, so he returns to his desk. A moment later, the lights in a nearby room suddenly turn on. Once again, the man gets up to investigate, but just as before, is unable to find anything out of the ordinary. He turns off the light and closes the door. Then suddenly, something eerie happens. You can see the door slam shut behind him and a chair slides across the room. Spooked, the man runs away in fear. However, the security camera keeps rolling, and what it captures next is sure to send chills down your spine. The light in the room turns back on and the door slowly swings open. In the glass, you can see the reflection of a shadowy figure standing motionless inside the room. The figure remains eerily still for several seconds before the door slams shut once again. It seems likely that this figure wasn't there when the employee first inspected the room, or he surely would have run out much earlier. What do you think this figure could be? A ghost or a shadow person perhaps? Or was it just a fellow employee waiting in the darkness to spook his colleague? Without further information, we may never learn the truth behind this seriously scary video. YouTuber Joseph Chansholm is no stranger to scary experiences. In fact, he used to think that his apartment was haunted. Luckily, he was able to capture some of the supposed paranormal activity on camera, and the footage has been shocking his followers ever since. In this video, he begins filming his kitchen early in the morning. The footage remains uneventful for some time. The setting is eerily still, except for a few blurry orbs flying past the camera that some viewers believe could be supernatural. However, the orbs are quickly upstaged. Take a look. As you can see, the kitchen cabinets slowly begin to swing open. A few seconds pass, then the sound of several items falling from the cabinet can be heard. The next video is even more shocking. This time, the YouTuber sets up a camera in his bathroom. Take a look what happens. Uh, maybe we'll get some. Good night. After about a minute after he shuts off the lights, the tap in the bathroom suddenly turns on. The view in the mirror shows that there isn't anyone in the room when the water begins to run, nor does it seem likely that a piece of string or fishing line could be used to turn the tap on, as its shape would make it almost impossible. Many viewers of this YouTube channel are truly disturbed by the footage. 
The simplicity of the videos and the raw nature of the footage has many convinced that this paranormal activity is definitely the real deal. Was this YouTuber the target of a playful poltergeist? Or is there another way to explain these mysterious events? In the last video that Chan Sulm ever posted to his channel, he says that he has since moved out of his old apartment and hopes the poltergeist didn't follow him. So unfortunately it seems unlikely that we'll ever know what happened next. I seriously doubt a uh, poltergeist would probably follow me here. <clears throat> if it did, well, please don't break any of my new crap. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> When Redditor 1970 saw movement in the dark, their first instinct was to grab their phone and take a photo. To an anxious mind, there are many things that can lurk in the dark. And in this case, it seems the Redditor's instinct was right. The photo that they managed to capture appears to show an eerie face watching them from the wall. The second image in particular, which has been color enhanced, shows the face with more clarity. It has large scowling eyes and a mouth that appears to be laughing in a sinister manner from its vantage point high on the wall. The photos were quick to garner much attention when they were first posted online. Some viewers suggested that the face was simply a case of pareidolia. However, the Redditor states that they tried to replicate the shot numerous times and failed to achieve the same result. They claim that the paint on the wall is matte and doesn't easily reflect the light, making these two photos the only ones that show the sinister face. While it might be easy to dismiss the images as an anomaly, the fact that the Redditor claims they saw movement in the dark just prior to capturing them certainly adds to the creepiness. So what do you think? Do these photos really show the face of some sort of paranormal entity or are they merely a trick of the light? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This video was captured by YouTuber Pac3Y3 at a famous landmark in Melbourne, Australia. At first, the footage seems uneventful. However, as the camera pans around the old building, something creepy can be seen on the upper balcony. Take a look. Initially, it seems that the shape resembles the classic depiction of a ghost. So much so, in fact, that if anyone were to take a quick glance at the footage, they might easily think that the figure is little more than someone dressed in a sheet. However, if you take a closer look, you can see that the figure is actually transparent. And what's more, it appears to be crawling along the railing. While this might simply be an illusion caused by the figure's lower body being obscured by the pillars of the railing, there is certainly something mysterious about the way it glides out of sight. The camera too doesn't seem to focus on the figure which could indicate that the uploader might not have noticed until reviewing the footage sometime later. Could it be the ghost of a past resident of this iconic old building? It seems that no matter what the eerie figure actually is, one thing's for sure. This YouTuber has certainly managed to capture some very mysterious and rather unsettling footage. These days, home security cameras are common. Designed to pick up movement while the residents are out during the day or asleep at night, these devices can sometimes capture things that most would prefer when unnoticed, such as the case in this video. Little is known about the origins of this disturbing footage. However, that certainly doesn't detract from the chilling feeling that this footage will likely give you. First, the camera picks up an unexplainable banging sound. Then something truly terrifying happens. Take a look. A dark, transparent entity appears to walk right out of the wall. Its shape is clearly that of a human, even though no features can be seen. It makes its way across the screen before the footage abruptly ends. The figure certainly looks as though it could be a ghost or even a shadow figure. 
However, as there's little information available on this video, it's difficult to know for sure just what it is we're seeing. If this footage does indeed turn out to be genuine, then the residents should seriously consider a move. YouTube channel Big Mystery 22 regularly posts videos of UFOs, prompting viewers to likely ponder the question, are humans alone in the universe? This footage, recorded from the window of a plane flying high above the surface of the Earth, may go a long way to answering that question. The footage was recorded during a flight back in 2013. It seems a passenger noticed something strange outside their window, just as the plane flew above Atlanta, Georgia. They quickly took out their camera and began to capture this strange sight. Through the window, we can see three distinct orbs of bright light that appear to be flying alongside the plane. Due to the background, it's difficult to make out how close they are to the aircraft. At first, the three orbs maintain a triangular formation, never moving too far away from each other. At this point, some viewers may be inclined to believe that the video simply shows ordinary aircraft making their regular scheduled flights. However, as the footage continues, that scenario seems less and less likely to be the case. Firstly, it would be highly unusual and even dangerous for other aircraft to be flying so close to a commercial flight. Secondly, the craft looks spherical in shape and unlike anything in this world. Suddenly, the orbs change their formation, making a line as one by one they appear to accelerate from view. The passenger can be heard gasping in disbelief as the video suddenly ends. What do you think these mysterious orbs could have been? Planes, weather balloons, or were they actually extraterrestrial spacecraft, observing the plane as it flew through the sky? Love to get your opinions on this mysterious piece of footage in the comments section below. What's that? When it comes to haunted hotels, few are so iconic as the Stanley Hotel. Even skeptics will be familiar with the hotel's imagery, thanks to Stephen King's immensely popular suspense novel, The Shining. King claims that just one night's stay in the hotel was enough to inspire the sinister events that take place in the Overlook Hotel, where a majority of the novel takes place. It's little wonder that both supernatural enthusiasts and skeptics have long since flocked to the hotel to see the source of King's inspiration for themselves. Such seems to have been the case for one Henry Yao, who claimed to have been doubtful of the rumoured supernatural activity in the hotel. However, as is often the case, Yao would find his doubts challenged after snapping this photo of an oddly ghostly figure stood at the top of a staircase in the hotel. As is the case with many such photos, it seems Yao was only able to capture the figure in a single frame before the figure most likely disappeared. While the entity in the photo is slightly obscured in the hasty snap, it nevertheless seems to be quite clearly clad in a long black dress or robe. With a swathe of white visible, the figure could easily be identified as a nun or simply a woman dressed up wearing a shawl. Either way, the figure appears to be fairly ethereal, with its face obscured and its posture making it seem as though it's ready to glide away at any moment. Chilling and odd, this figure is nearly exactly what one would hope to see during a stay at the Stanley Hotel. Posted to the website Ghost and Ghouls, the tale behind this creepy photo lends a whole new dimension to the story of the shadowy figure seen wandering in the background. Captured at Muckross Abbey, a historic Irish haunt, it's believed that the shadowy figure seen in the photo is that of a ghostly monk. The site explains that the 15th century abbey suffered historic raids until naught but ruins remained in the abbey's place. Some claim that author Bram Stoker spent time in the cemetery of Muckross Abbey, soaking in the dark atmosphere. 
With such concentrated atrocities having all taken place in this historic location, it's little wonder the locals believe the ghosts of the wronged friars remain to haunt the abbey. Some say the sounds of Gregorian chants can still be heard drifting faintly from the abbey to this day. With scary photos such as this adding to the haunt's reputation, the ghostly monk won't likely be the last such haunting to be reported here. When Adam Smith happened to walk past this defunct Welsh psychiatric hospital, it's likely he didn't imagine capturing any scary photos. With the old hospital in Bronless Brecon, Wales having been officially shut down in 1999, it hadn't housed any official patients in decades. However, there was no mistaking the figure Smith managed to capture staring directly out of the window of the hospital. With its eerie face visible staring directly through the window, it seems to have perfectly timed its appearance in order to make itself known to Smith. While the figure is slightly obscured in the full-size picture, a zoom in to the photo makes the frightening face clearly visible. The hospital is a former prisoner of war camp, which was said to have housed captured German soldiers during World War II. Ghastly lobotomies were performed on site in a bid to cure conditions like alcoholism, senile dementia and postnatal depression. With so much turmoil occurring in one building, it's easy to see why spirits may have chosen to hang around. Be they former prisoners of war or victims of unethical psychiatric practices, one could see why the building remains a source of discomfort for locals. So what do you think's been caught in this photo? Tormented spirit or something more easily explainable? Let me know in the comments. Captured in the middle of the night, this photo, allegedly taken in the uploader Nick D3's living room, seems to show a ghostly woman sat on the sofa. Although the photo is fairly dark, the gauntness of the woman's face is still easy to make out. With a pained expression, the woman immediately gives off some spooky and ghostly vibes. Although the single frame doesn't reveal any actions taken by the potential spirit or reveal any of its movements, its appearance is unnerving to say the least. With the end of the video begging the question, what was it? Angel, demon or something else? It would seem fair enough to eliminate the possibility of it being some sort of angel. With that in mind, it seems easy to see why the uploader claims to have since gotten rid of the couch the woman is seen sitting on in the photograph. Since removing the furniture, the figure hasn't been seen since. Sent in by Slaptown viewer Linda S, this next photo is truly a mysterious one. The blurry photo was taken in a hallway, where one young man and one older man are both visible. The older man appears in the bottom left corner of the photo, appearing to be mid-motion. Meanwhile, the younger man seems to be standing still, focusing on the camera. Linda explains that the young man in the photo is her nephew. Taken at her brother and sister-in-law's home, Linda wanted to capture a few snaps of her nephew as he had just returned home from college for a visit. Linda explains she snapped a few photos, including consecutive photos of her nephew. It wasn't until she examined them the next day that the confusion surrounding this photo set in. There, clearly visible in the photo, was the older man in the red shirt. However, the man in the red shirt was completely unknown to Linda and her family. The man shouldn't have been there at all. Linda would have surely noticed a strange old man in the hallway when the photo was taken, yet yeah, clear as day an unknown person has appeared. Linda's unease seems to have been corroborated by her nephew, as he was so freaked out by the photo he threw Linda's phone down onto the lawn after seeing it for the first time. Sure the man in the photo was some sort of ghost or demon, Linda explains that her nephew has chosen to never look at the photo ever again. Without any idea of who the man in the photo was and with clear photographic evidence of his presence, Linda assures us that her belief in the supernatural has been solidified ever since she captured the photo and it's easy to see why. Without any possible explanation for the man's presence, this photo certainly fits in the realm of the unexplainable. Taken by one Amy Harper, the last of these scary photos seems to have converted its photographer from a skeptic to a believer in one fell swoop. 
Harper explains that while her husband had already been a staunch believer in the supernatural, she had no cause to believe in spirits or ghosts. However, a trip to Dudley Castle has changed her mind considerably. After returning home, Harper began to examine the photos she had taken. Seen quite clearly in one of the archways is a woman in a grey and billowing period style dress. Quite clearly not of this era, the woman's presence is strikingly eerie. What's more, Harper is convinced she knows the identity of the figure in the photograph, believing her to be none other than the castle's infamous grey lady. Known as Dorothy Parker during her lifetime, the woman, now known as the Grey Lady, is said to have had one dying wish, to be buried next to her child. This wish was never granted, seemingly leading the Grey Lady to continue haunting Dudley Castle to this day, in her anger and sorrow. With the woman in the photo so clearly resembling the description of the would-be Grey Lady, it seems clear enough why Harper would suspend her disbelief and identify the woman as the well-known spirit. As the photo so clearly shows the Grey Lady stood outside Dudley Castle, one can only assume that the legend of her haunting will continue to convince other visitors to the castle of its haunted nature in the years to come, maybe even converting a few more skeptics along the way. Viewers beware, these freaky clips uploaded to TikTok by user Harry McClary are enough to keep you up all night. The first clip opens in the middle of the night. The uploader is awoken by his Alexa assistant. A deliberate attempt to contact the spirit of a Alexa seems keen to give the definition of a seance completely unprompted. A deliberate attempt to contact the spirit of a deceased person is known as a seance. Alexa gives a creepy and unnatural laugh once she's done. She then maniacally tells the uploader she has a skill he might like. Hey. I have a skill you might like. While it's not out of the ordinary for the assistant to suggest a set of actions, it's odd to do so unprompted. Laughing still, the door to the bedroom begins swinging open and closed as the colours change rapidly. Wanna try it? The unit continues to terrorise the uploader as the short clip ends. <laughs> the second clip begins with a knocking sound coming from the basement. A dog can also be heard barking in the background. <coughs> Clearly scared but needing to know what they're dealing with, the uploader attempts to venture down to the basement. They're heard saying hello to the source of the banging. Hello? The banging stops. However, a scraping sound follows nearly immediately after, as though whatever's been making the sound was quickly scrambling up the stairs towards the uploader. If you watch it again, it actually sounds like footsteps running up the stairs towards the camera holder. The dog continues to bark as the uploader shouts, oh my god, just as the clip ends. This series of clips seems to show something seriously wrong with the uploader's home. Oh my god! YouTube channel Wolf Cry Weather and News seems to have stumbled upon gin activity in these freaky clips. Making their way through an abandoned hospital, the ghost hunter in the video remains brave in the face of a series of odd occurrences. All is quiet until just after the one minute mark when strange noises can be heard. The man asks if there's anyone there and demands the gin show itself to no avail. He continues to pray as he makes his way through the hospital, seemingly certain he's in the presence of a less than friendly jinn. Still, the man seems to believe in the power of his prayers. When a chair seemingly moves out of nowhere, the man can't help but let the distress be heard in his voice. 
لكن لا الملك ولا الحمد له الملك ولا الحمد when the chair moves once more, it seems clear the jinn is growing increasingly angered by the man's continued prayers. The man makes his way through the hospital. His nerves appear to become more and more frayed. He makes sure to shout his prayers louder as a door slams out of nowhere. He enters a room at random and sees a window slide open without anyone visible near it. The man is clearly near his breaking point as a loud unnatural screeching or scraping sound can be heard coming from somewhere in the hospital. The sound continues as the man is finally spooked enough to make a run for it. <laughs> he lets the jinn know on his way out that he was far from defeated. Assuring the jinn that he would be back, one can't help but think the jinn would be far less passive the next time he visits. The mystery behind the next of these freaky clips posted to TikTok by user Mysterious Unknowns Exposed may never likely be resolved. The clip begins with a man seated on a bench near some woods. He's talking to the camera, which is seemingly why this event was recorded in the first place. Another man appears to be walking in the woods behind him. Something seems off immediately as the cameraman zooms in on the second man quite quickly. The man's presence becomes much more ominous. The man continues walking. As he approaches a thin and barren tree, however, he's not seen emerging from the other side. Too thin to disguise him, this immediately raises a red flag for the man behind the camera, who goes to investigate. He pans around the entire tree, only to find the man has disappeared completely. He looks around the entire area, but still there's no sign of the man who just disappeared. Without any rhyme or reason, the man seems to have made himself known only to scare those around him. Seemingly unworried about being spotted, he almost seems to be taunting the viewer by allowing him to glimpse his disappearance. Still, without the man anywhere in sight, it's likely the men in question will never get an answer as to the mysterious man's identity, and neither will the viewer. Posted to Reddit by user Alien Alien, this seems to be one in a series of freaky events occurring in a former hospital turned office building. Providing context for the clip, the uploader explains that this event was far from isolated. With odd occurrences having taken place before the clip was posted, the uploader is sure the office is the scene of some distressing haunting. The uploader first explains that the owner of the building has often imagined the figure of a man standing in the corner of the office, when no one should have been around. Still, the office manager believed he was simply being paranoid rather than the victim of a haunting. It's likely this clip played a part in convincing him otherwise. Roughly a week later, the police were alerted to what would otherwise be considered some sort of break-in or suspicious activity. A door had opened in the building, but when the police arrived, they saw no one around. It wasn't until that event that the surveillance video was checked, revealing this clip. In it, one can clearly see what appears to be the blinds on one door's window opening by themselves. Next, the door slowly begins to creak open with no one around or captured in the video. The odd and careful activity seems to have confirmed the office manager's worst fears, that he was perhaps not truly alone when he pictured the man standing in the corner. He's likely the victim of something much more sinister than a trick of the imagination.
The last of these freaky clips, posted to Facebook by user Kayleen Bowman, is just as inexplicable as some of the others. What's been dubbed a glitch in the simulation, viewers are left to come to their own conclusion. Seen floating in mid-air appears to be a dark object. The object seems to be suspended from nowhere with no wires or structures nearby. On closer inspection, it appears to be a bird frozen in place mid-air. A still photo was also taken so we can get a better, more focused look. Floating in the air and completely still, the object almost seems to be levitating as if by magic. Either it's something supernatural and mysterious or the aforementioned glitch in the matrix. The clip is nevertheless enough to shake even the most die-hard skeptics. So what do you think's going on in this clip? Is it just a bird suspended on some thin, unseen wire? Or is it truly a glitch in the matrix? Love to hear your opinions on this one in the comments section below. Uploaded to the Journey Indiana YouTube channel, this clip is not so much frightening as it is mysterious and intriguing. The clip is centered around the infamous Willard Library in Indiana, a famously haunted attraction for ghost enthusiasts. Declared to be haunted since 1937, when one Willard Library employee first claimed to have spotted a ghost, the library has been home to numerous instances of ghost sightings ever since. All sorts of eerie activity has been reported at Willard Library. Unexplained perfume smells, cold spots, books moving on their own are just the tip of the iceberg. Employees have been reporting apparitions for years. Two visiting lecturers from the University of Southern Indiana claim they saw a person peering into a pool of water. However, when they looked again, the person was nowhere to be seen. On another occasion, two police officers responded to an alarm being tripped within the library after hours. When they arrived, they spotted two people in the upstairs window of the building. After a thorough investigation, no one was ever found on the premises. In another encounter, a single frame captured from CCTV cameras inside the library shows a grey, somewhat translucent figure standing by a wall of books. Some say it looks like a librarian attending to their duties. In recent years, the haunted library has gained attention from supernatural enthusiasts worldwide. When an attempted Halloween stream a few years back attracted over 2 million viewers, effectively crashing the stream, the library finally realised just how popular of a haunted attraction it had become. We took a look at their live stream on their website, but unfortunately it didn't seem to be working. Leaning into their haunted status, the Willard Library has gone so far as to offer haunted ghost tours to those seeking their own paranormal thrills. TikTok user Theatre of the Absurd seems to have captured a chilling bit of ghost footage, thanks to the likely haunted old theatre where he works. Someone in here? Hello? In the video, the TikToker gives viewers a tour of the creepy old theatre. It's a really beautiful theatre, as you can see, if you can see it at all. He explains that he had been hearing a noise coming from the theatre when no one else was supposed to be around. I keep hearing a noise in here and there's not supposed to be anybody here, so... Filming for posterity, the uploader shows the unique old architecture of the theatre, as well as one of its unique attractions, the ghost light. There's the ghost light. It's the light we keep on for... The uploader explains that the light is usually left on in order to help guide any spirits that happen to remain in the old theatre. It's the light we keep on for... ghosts. <laughs> for people who still remain here and whatnot, and... Uh... However, it's just when the uploader explains the function of the light that he immediately seems to get the sense that he's not alone. Looking up into one of the far balconies, a creepy figure can be seen lurking, watching the uploader. What is that? The camera holder tries to get a better vantage point. It's here we can make out a grey silhouette of a man staring down from the balcony. The uploader then follows up with a second clip in which he investigates a potential intruder in the theatre. 
After the theatre's sirens went off, alerting the worker to the presence of an intruder, he was unable to find anyone in the theatre. Someone in here? Hello? However, explains that he did hear the sound of piano keys tinkling in another room. Going to investigate, the uploader warns the potential intruder that no one's supposed to be in the theatre. You're not supposed to be in here. The unseen figure plays a few notes on the piano in response, scaring the uploader who is now certain he's not alone. Still, he calls out to the intruder again. Who is it? Suddenly, the lights turn off and he's confronted with the discordant and menacing notes from the piano. The clip ends with the uploader understandably worried, running away from the theatre from whatever meddling intruder awaited him on the other side of the room. In late 2019, a group of friends attended a night market in the Philippines. They huddled together to snap a memory of their trip to the bustling market. Nothing seemed amiss until one of the group members reviewed the photo. There on the right hand side is a small child's face jutting out on a strange angle. The face is pale and slightly out of focus. It doesn't match the skin tones of the rest of the group at all. No one there that day remembers seeing a small child in the area, let alone right next to the group when the photo was taken. Some viewers have taken the pale features of the child as a sign that it's not of this world, some ghostly visage attempting to make contact. This video uploaded to YouTube by user Luke Gustafson seems to show some mysterious activity. Just as the video begins, a small vacuum in the corner of the room is seen rocking back and forth without anyone present to cause it to move. Then a rain of particles, which some viewers claim to be ghostly orbs, float by the camera. While the two events have been linked by viewers, not all believe their origins to be supernatural in nature. Some viewers argue that the shaking of the vacuum and the falling debris are likely the result of an earthquake or other naturally occurring phenomenon. Still, the uploader argues that this is absolute proof of poltergeists. Many supernatural enthusiasts are quick to note the popularity of floating orbs in footage such as this, as the orbs seem to congregate in spots that are notoriously haunted. Orbs typically show up on film in either still photographs or videos, where they go seemingly unnoticed by those around them. While some skeptics attribute these orbs to specks of dust or pollen flying in front of the camera lens, others cite their odd behaviour and concentration around haunted sites as proof of their supernatural nature. So what do you think? Earthquake and dust or poltergeist and orbs? Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. The ghost footage submitted to the GMA Public Affairs YouTube channel by one Leah Panita Fuentes claims to show the spirit of a bride's deceased mother. As the text before the photo states, just wanted to share this photo taken last August 2016. It was my sister-in-law's wedding. Her mum died in 2007. I was taking a picture, but I felt something else. I'm arranging a picture to post on FB. I was shocked by what I saw. Mama was there a long time ago. When zooming in on the picture, there's a mysterious figure partially hidden by a bouquet of flowers. While the photo is blurry and hard to make out in any great detail, the family insists it resembles the bride's deceased mother. As Fuentes pointed out, it would seem her sister-in-law can rest assured knowing her mother is likely still watching over her during the big transitions in her life, which is surely more of a comforting thought than anything else. 
This unsettling photo was submitted to Reddit by user Red Desert Cowboy. The uploader claims the photo was taken in 2012, during a demolition of the old East Junior High School in Wyoming. A woman on site was documenting the demolition of the historic building, when one of the photos seemed to capture something more than a record of posterity. In the photo, a figure stands among the rubble. It appears to be a woman in a white dress. Her head is bent on an unnatural angle. A second, lightened version of the photo shows the figure in more detail. Many of the comments on Reddit made the connection between the frightful image and the bent neck lady, featured in Netflix's horror series Haunting of Hill House. The uploader claims the old building dates back to around the 1920s and that it was used as a brothel for a period of time. It then became a home of education where students often reported seeing ghostly figures in darkened areas of the hallways. There's no indication of who this woman in white might be. There appears to be no deaths linked to the property, so why then are there so many reports of ghostly activity? Until further information comes to hand, this freaky bent neck lady will have to remain an unsettling mystery. This first item on the list of unexplained paranormal mysteries from around the world looks like a student prank. However, more than 100 students and adults experienced something that can't be explained. It happened in a Malaysian school back in April of 2016. The situation was so intense the school involved was actually forced to temporarily shut down, while education officials tried to figure out exactly what was going on. The saga started when a group of students and teachers supposedly witnessed spirits and experienced supernatural events while in a school building located in Kota Baru. Believing the claims to be credible, school leaders closed the school temporarily to bring in Islamic scholars to conduct prayer sessions and other spiritual exercises. Some of the students who allegedly encountered the supernatural happenings at the school claimed they saw a black figure making its way through the campus. One of the teachers at the school told local media that she could feel a heavy entity touching her. Another teacher claimed that the being attempted to enter her body. A photo was tweeted by star journalist at Philip Golengai on April of 2016. It supposedly captures an insight into what was haunting the school. In the photo, you can just make out an outline of a dark figure lurking at the back of the room. Ultimately, a formal explanation was never given regarding what actually happened at the Malaysian school. Many who have investigated the incident claim it's a classic case of mass hysteria. However, most of the students and faculty present during the haunting say a djinn was wreaking havoc, with many still fearing another attack. This next unexplained mystery came to life with a little help from Google Maps. Speculation and conspiracies have been running wild ever since savvy map watchers spotted what appears to be a mysterious object emerging from the melting ice in Antarctica. The strange object was first spotted by YouTuber Mr. MBB333. He uploaded a video analysing the area and offered some insight into what the shape could be. When looking at the screenshot of the object that made the rounds during October 2020, it's hard to deny that it resembles some type of disc-shaped spacecraft. Many commenters who have studied the image credit it with being very intelligently designed. Some have even speculated that the object measures in at 60 feet in width when using the scale of the space around it. It's really just questions on top of questions when pondering the origins of this paranormal mystery. Is it something that was left behind by humans? Did aliens park it there? How long has this object sat buried underneath Antarctic snow? It's unlikely that any real answers will come from the science community anytime soon. For now, all internet sleuths can do is continue to dig in the virtual sense to try and uncover any real answers to this strange mystery. The Whitby Museum in North Yorkshire, England is where you'll find the Hand of Glory. This object is thought to be full of supernatural powers, if you can stomach seeing it. 
History tells us that this mysterious object is prepared by combining a hand taken from a criminal who's been executed on the gallows with a candle made from fat from the corpse. After a carefully measured processing stage that includes pickling the hand in salt and allowing it to steep in specific herbs for a month, the hand is then placed on an oak tree for three nights in a row before being brought to the doors of a church while the preparer of the hand keeps watch. The person who prepares the hand is free to keep it if they're able to keep watch over the hand all night without running away in fear. So what could make such a gruesome ritual worth it? Myths surrounding the power of the Hand of Glory date back to 15th century Europe. Some people supposedly believed that the light of the Hand of Glory could burn forever without ever being consumed. Others believed that possessing this object would allow them to open any lock on any building. It was also believed that this formidable hand could render anyone who gazed upon it motionless. The Australian Outback is the perfect place for paranormal mysteries to thrive. That's probably part of the reason why the Min Min light phenomenon is so intriguing. According to many witnesses, mysterious lights are often spotted in the area near the Min Min settlement. The lights often seem as though they're following or approaching people. Legend also says that anyone who dares to try and chase the lights down will never be seen again. While the first recorded sighting of the Min Min lights was in 1838, Stories of strange lights have been present in Australian folklore for generations. Sightings of the Min Min lights are so common that the focus is really on determining what's causing them instead of trying to debunk their existence. The scientific community has some thoughts on what might be behind these lights. One idea is that swarming insects in the deep brush of the Australian outback actually take on bioluminescent characteristics after coming into contact with fungi. Others who have researched the mystery believe the lights are created by marsh gas or other geophysical phenomena. The possibilities are endless and it still remains a mystery. Something mysterious oozed its way onto the list of the oddest paranormal mysteries in 1986. Venezuela's La Mancha Negra or the Black Stain defies logic and explanation more than three decades after it was first discovered. In fact, millions of dollars and countless hours have been spent by government officials and researchers to try and determine exactly what this substance is, why it exists, and how to stop it. La Mancha Negra is an unexplained black substance that oozes from roads in the capital city of Caracas. People who have seen it describe it as a greasy, slick, and thick black blob of something that looks like chewed bubblegum. Far from being a minor nuisance, the slick substance has actually been responsible for multiple fatal accidents over the years. More than 1,800 people were killed as a result of La Mancha Negra during just the span of time covering its discovery from 86 until 1992. Washing, scrubbing, rinsing, and scraping have not worked for cleaning up La Mancha Negra. However, the Venezuelan government did manage to get the issue mostly under control in highly populated areas using complex cleaning equipment in 1996. That hasn't stopped the sludgy substance from continuing to creep in. What's more, nobody knows what this substance is even today. There are some theories regarding what causes La Mancha Negra to slither its way across Venezuelan roads. Some people believe it's simply a sludge that forms when older cars spray fluids while driving on the roads. Others claim it's caused by oils that are seeping out from poorly made asphalt. In 1992, President Carlos André Pérez accused his political enemies of spilling the oil around the country, just to damage his reputation. Then there's more paranormal explanations. Some believe it's extraterrestrial in origin, something akin to the blob. The sticky, all-engulfing entity from the 1958 cult sci-fi horror movie starring Steve McQueen. As of today, La Mancha Negra is simply a black sludge without an explanation. Ray Myers Hollow is a bone-chilling paranormal mystery. The spot is located near the Maryland border in York County, Pennsylvania. It was here that a murder took place that grabbed headlines back in 1928. A woman named Nellie Knoll, known as the River Witch of Marietta, instructed a local man named John Blymere. 
She told him how to deal with the suspicion that he had been cursed by another local man named Nelson Raymire. Noel advised Blymere to break into Raymire's home to retrieve the spell book that he was almost certainly using to conjure up his curses. While taking Noel's advice, Blymere also decided to take along two companions. The group was unable to find the book when they arrived at Raymire's home. However, they did bump into Raymire himself. Determined to remove the curse, the men murdered Raymire before attempting to burn down his house. Ultimately, the house failed to burn enough to destroy the evidence of the murder that had taken place. The three men who murdered Raymire were eventually charged. The story was big enough that the trial of the men became a media sensation known as the York Witch Trial. However, what was an even bigger story was the speculation that Raymire really was a witch, with the ability to stop his home from being burned down even after death. Raymire's unburnable house still stands today in Stewartstown, Pennsylvania. In 2007, Nelson Raymire's descendants opened the home for public tours. However, the property is closed to the public today. The YouTube channel Dan Bell Film It uploaded an interesting tour of the property. I'll put a link to the full video in the description box below. Strange, strange tale. So if you love this massive compilation, then why not check out our other ones here? Or there's a giant playlist here that you can binge on for hours. Leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the weirdest or scariest. We love getting your feedback. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <gasps>